I've got Ruby Woo on so you know it's about to be a good day. <laughs> bookish channel where we talk all things books all the time my name is Nogukanya. kanya if you're new here hi if you're not new here what up <laughs> okay so today we're gonna be talking about a really really exciting topic and that is the most anticipated books that i have for january of 2021 these are the new releases that i'm most excited about that are releasing in january of 2021 okay so what i wanted to do originally was to do a oh my god most anticipated releases and then I started going through the list of books that I had earmarked and there are so many of them that are coming out this year that I'm excited about. So I thought, no, what I'm not going to do, what we're not about to do is have a 65 minute long video with all the books that I'm excited about. Because first of all, I'm going to get tired. You're going to get tired. You're also going to forget about these books if I talk about them all in the same video. So what I've decided to do is that throughout the year, I will be doing these anticipated releases at the beginning of every month. I know now we're a bit late, but you know what, guys, it's fine. My life has been a bit in shambles but we move. In the months to come from February to December, I will endeavor to actually have this anticipated releases book out or video out towards the end of the previous month or right at the beginning of the next month, just so that we can all be on the same page and get excited about the books that are coming out in the following month, right? I think that's the best idea that I've ever had in my whole entire life. If I had to do one single video, y'all gonna get tired of me. I don't want you guys to get tired of me. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, January anticipated releases, the books that are coming out in January that I'm so excited about. Obviously because I'm late, some of these books are already out, but you guys will ignore that and act like this video came out when it was supposed to come out funny story i actually did shoot this video on time and then the sound went left and then i realized you know what no if i have to reshoot this video the same day i will cry so i thought you know what it's fine we'll wait i'll do it when i actually have myself collected and i gathered myself which ended up being a good thing because now even more books i have come on my radar that i'm excited about that i want to talk to you guys about that are coming out in January. Okay, let's get started because I'm sure you guys are tired of me rambling and you wanna get straight to the juicy bits, which is the books that are coming out. Okay guys, January 2021 has quite a few books. The 5th of January was such a big release day. So many books came out that day that I am so excited about that everybody should be excited about. So many black writers, so many debut writers, so many BIPOC writers in general, so many really, really exciting books. Okay, so the first book that I'm going to talk to you guys about that I'm really excited, my anticipated release is probably my most excited, most exciting or most anticipated, most anticipated release for January is the Prophets by Robert Jones Jr. You should all know by now because you follow me on Instagram and you also saw my uh, Possibility Power video that I have actually already received this book. Oh, it's right here actually, so I can actually show you. This was my most anticipated release for, 20, for January of 2021. It is a slave narrative, it is queer, it is apparently one of the most beautiful books. It's a debut writer and I am very, very excited to read this book. I still haven't started, but I'm hoping to get to it in January still. It's on my Possibility Power, so it's a possibility but it is it came out on the 5th of january so it's the book that i'm actually very 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 excited about i'm so glad i actually have a copy it's the only book that like is a new release that i actually have a copy of so yay <laughs> okay so the next book that i'm really excited about that's coming out this month is happily ever afters by elise bryant so this book the description on the book is basically like jane the virgin meets um to all the boys i've loved before i love both of those things also it's a black girl main character so i was ready so basically the girl is 16 years old and she's one of those girls always in a book knows how to knows love stories and stuff from creative from her writing and stuff but not in real life so then she gets into this creative writing course i think at school and then when she gets there like her writing completely vanishes inspiration gone poof so in trying to get her inspiration back she kind of starts doing all this rom com -y stuff to try and inspire spark love or whatever and as usual hilarity ensues and trouble ensues because she starts forgetting who she is and like the guy that she's actually trying to 
romance and make her prince charming is not necessarily the guy she should end up with and it's very to all the boys we've loved before where like things end up like unraveling for her lies deceit but in a really cute ya teeny kind of way so i'm very excited about this book when i saw it last year i knew i was gonna get this book so i think i'm actually gonna download the ebook um actually now i can do that right now i don't know why i haven't done it already but that's another book that i'm really excited about that i think came out on the 5th of january so that's also a january release that that I'm really excited to read. Okay, so the next book that is an anticipated release for January of 2021 is Remote Control by Nnedi Akorafor. Nnedi Akorafor is the queen of African futurism. She is one of the best African futuristic writers out there. I read her book, Who Fears Death. I've also read Binti. I actually need to finish that series. I also read Akata Witch, which I think is one of her YA books. Nedia Korfor is fantastic. So Remote Control is one of her newer releases. It's a sci-fi story about a girl who becomes, I think, Death's daughter and basically navigating that whole relationship and how she, she exists within this community and the kind of consequences of that. So I, the way I picture it is think adventure think an adventure book, a YA adventure book, but like an African futuristic sci-fi sci African, um, future law well, i'm repeating myself so much but an african futuristic sci-fi adventure book adventure book so very excited about that one because Nedia Korofor really does not go wrong. If you're someone who really likes fantasy and sci-fi, that's another one. I want to personally finish, I think I have a lagoon of hers that I still haven't read and finished Binti. So I am definitely going to get this book, but I think I'm going to give it to myself as a treat once I've actually finished the other two books of hers that are on my shelf, which I should probably get to probably soon. <laughs> Let's hope that that will actually happen. <laughs> okay. So the other book that's coming out in January 2021 is Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Angie Thomas is a fave. She's a bookstagram fave. She's a life fave. She's just everything. She wrote The Hate You Give, which is that book that is like gut-wrenching that I still haven't read because I don't like to cry. And I knew when I saw the trailer of that movie, because I saw the trailer of the movie before I knew it was a book series, that there was no way. I still haven't watched the movie, by the way. There was just, it's it's like when they see us by like that documentary about the Exonerated Five that Ava Du Duvernay um, produced. No, I can't. My heart will break and I just don't have the energy for it. So I haven't read it. But I did read her other book on the come up. It was so good. It was basically about this uh, lyricist, this um, young female rapper. And basically her dad used to be an MC. And so she's kind of navigating this like really cool space of trying to break out into the industry and become a respected MC. But obviously she's a girl and the environment she lives in and having to navigate like the kind of dynamics of living in the project and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed On The Come Up. So the, the, so basically, I think Concrete Rose... Wait, I'm actually going to Google this for you because I actually want you guys to know. Give me one second. Okay, so I actually have Googled it. So Concrete Rose basically tells the story that came before The Hate You Give, 17 years before The Hate You Give, that follows the lead female character in The Hate You Give's father. So it's basically him navigating the space. And I think it's an interesting thing to have a YA novel and then go back in time to the same environment with the same set of characters and see what are the differences in the way that her dad grew up versus how she grew up and how they navigated those spaces. Has anything changed? Are things better? are they was it's such an interesting way for it's a, such an interesting thing for angie thomas to do to kind of step back and she's had two female protagonists up until now so concrete rose has a male protagonist and i'm interested to see how she does that and whether or not she provides more insights and has a slightly more vulnerable feel to her male her male protagonist because a lot of the time these kinds of especially black men when they're written even in ya but also in just generally books when their main character they are given such a hard edge so I'm interested to see how Angie Thomas comes, whether, diff whether it's different or whether she does the exact same thing. So Concrete Rose is another one that I'm very excited about. So the other book that is releasing in January that I'm very excited about, guys, this one, I'm very, very, very excited about it, is Law by Alexandra Bracken. Honey, Greek goddesses. 
meets the Hunger Games is the description. Oh, Greek gods meets the Hunger Games is the description. I was sold. Guys, first of all, if you have Greek goddesses or gods or whatever and kind of Greek mythology embedded into an adventure movie or adventure book, I'm here for it. The Wrath of the Titans is my favorite book. I uh, Favorite book. My favorite movie of life. Wrath of the Titans and The Clash of the Titans. I watch it literally monthly. Love them both. But this one is like, it's like, Hunger Games meets so basically it's the story of like nine Greek gods walk the earth as punishment for a previous crime that they committed or whatever so as part of their walking the earth they basically get hunted by these line of god hunters who once you kill one of the gods you then become a god so basically everybody trying to kill you and apparently it's set in New York and I'm just I'm excited. Everything about this sounds like something I would enjoy immensely. I'm excited to see how they embed Greek mythology into this book and how, or if it's just like loosely based or if they really, really are going to dive into the Greek mythology. So, oh, no. Also, the cover is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm excited to get this book. I saw a lot of people on Bookstagram got these really gorgeous um, arc boxes of the book. Um, really bummed that I couldn't get one because obviously we're in South Africa and we don't get nothing here. But I'm really excited to read the book. Nonetheless, it's one of my most exciting ones. I will probably order that book the day it comes out just to make sure that it's here in February because then I'll be able to read it in February because it takes a couple of weeks for things to arrive. So that is another book that I'm really excited about reading. Okay, so the next book that I'm really excited about is A Black Buck by Matteo Asgirapur. Disclaimer, I already have an audiobook of this. I got an advanced read listener's copy from um, Libro, but the book is already out, so you guys can get it because obviously your girl is late. But this book, I started listening to it. I am blown away. I think it's going to be a five-star read and one of probably my favorite books of Q1, probably my favorite book of the month. No. I read another great book already. So it's going to be one of my favorites for the month. Actually, I'm having a really good reading month. But anyway, so it takes, it tells the story of this guy, Darren, basically plot. He's Darren, works at Starbucks, ends up getting an opportunity to work at like this tech startup, then is embroiled in this whole kind of like super, super white frat boy um, work environment. So at how he navigates that and basically like he's basically telling the story so it's a first person narrator telling the story it's kind of self-help like couched in fiction and how to succeed and how to be a salesman and it is such a great book because it provides and it gives such a witty such a well-written such a sharp critique of the american workforce and just generally the working environment even in south africa because it's this boys it's this white boys only club and it's just the way he structures the entire book from what i've seen so far because i'm about halfway through the audiobook so far it's superb it is so good it is funny it is witty it is sharp it makes you angry, it makes you happy, it makes you laugh, it makes you want to scream, it makes you want to cry. I am loving this book so much so far. So that is another book that I was really anticipating um, for, 20, for January of 2021 and I also have it. And I think I'm actually going to get the physical book. That's how much I love the audiobook that I actually want to be able to look at the physical book. So that is Black Buck by Matteo Ascarapur. Okay, so that is the end of this video. It was relatively short. There were only like six books I think that I've spoken about, but those are the ones that I'm the most excited about. Obviously, a lot more books came out in January or are coming out in January. I mean, the literary world is so wide, but these are the six that I personally am the most excited about. Those are the ones that I think I'm definitely going to get, that I'm excited to read, that I think you guys should look into because they sound like exactly my kind of vibe. And if you follow me and you like me and you think we have the same kind of vibe, they should be your kind of vibe too. So yeah, those are the six books that I'm excited about in January. I look forward to doing these videos every month. I think this format of doing it monthly is going to be really helpful because it's going to make sure that I don't overwhelm myself. Right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Follow me on Instagram on at prettyxbookish. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a good day. Oh, right. Comment, like, engage. Let's chat. Follow me on Instagram and let's chat there as well. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a good day. I'm about to go eat now because I am absolutely starving. So yeah, bye.